Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now this video is all about on how to install these Edge Runner Mansion and Mansion Entry Mod inside your Cyberpunk folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download these Entry Mod scroll down go to files then now download the manual download there will be some requirements but don't worry we will be doing that soon select download and now download the slow download and now you can download it to your desktop unfortunately i have already downloaded the file so i don't need to download it Next, download these Edge Runner Mansion mod. To download this, like always, go to Files, go to Manual Download, go to Download, and now you can download this slow download. And now download it to your desktop. Don't forget to download Red 4X. As always, go to Files, and now download it to your desktop. Now unfortunately I have already installed Red 4X on my recent video so I'll leave that video inside my description below. And lastly download Archive XL and I will leave this inside my description below as well. This video was requested by the viewers and we're going to get straight into it. But before we do if this is your first time and you want to start modding on Cyberpunk then I do have a tutorial video inside my description below for beginners. So let's get straight into it. First go to your Cyberpunk game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next go to your Cyberpunk 2077 and now this is your main directory. Now first we are going to install Archive XL. So go to your Red 4X folder. Then go to your plugins folder. Now open up your Archive XL extract folder. Go to Red 4X. Go to plugins. And now select your XL folder and drag it inside your plugins then now go to your main directory now next go to your R6 folder then now go to your config and now go to your extract folder then go to your R6 folder then go to config then now select the red users hints and now drag it inside your config folder and now exit out of your extract folder. Now go back to your main directory and now the next mod that we are going to install is the mansion mod. So open up your mansion extract folder. Next, okay we will need to go to our archive folder so go to your archive folder, go to PC and go to mod. Now if you do not have a mod folder then now you can simply right click and create a new folder and name that folder mod. Make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your mod folder and now go back to your extract folder, go to archive, go to PC, go to mod and now select both files 
and drag it inside your archive. There you go. Now, next, go back, okay? And now, go to your bin folder, go to Time64, go to Plugins, then go to Cyber Engine Tweaks, then I go to Mods. Now, go back to your Game folder, go back to your main directory, and I'll just follow those steps, okay? Bin, Time64, Plugins, Cyber Engine Tweaks, mods and now all you got to do is go back to your mansion extract folder and now select your drc and now drag that folder inside your mods folder and now that's all you got to do and now you can exit out of your extract folder now lastly we need to install is the entry the mansion entry now the mansion entry is very easy, okay? All you gotta do is go back to your main directory, go to archive, go to PC, then go to mod, and now open up your mansion entry, go to archive, go to PC, go to mod, and now select all the files and drag it inside your archive folder right there, okay? And now that's all you gotta do. And now exit out of your game. Right click, refresh your desktop. We have now finished installing all the mods for the Edge Runner Mansion mod and the Entry mod. So that's two mods in one video. So we're gonna go into the game and test it out. And now we're in the game. So once you're in the game, okay, you pretty much are already set, but you will need to come to a certain location, okay? So I'm already at the location over here, but when you go to your map, you'll see there will be uh, apartments over here, okay? And now it will say penthouse, okay? So come to this location on your map, okay? Uh, it's basically closer to your other apartment, okay? So come over here and now you can teleport here and now you'll be coming to this location over here. Now over here, you can park your vehicle over here. That's what this, this is for, okay? And now when you teleport here, you'll be over here. Now let's just grab this. And now you'll see the elevator over here. Now this is the entry to your mansion. Now come inside here, okay? And now you can just click on that and then now you'll just basically go up to the mansion. Now the reason why I like this mod because instead of like using mods to fly up there or to jump up there, you can just use this elevator. Now you can do a few things up here. Basically you can go for a shower, go for sleep, um, open the wardrobe and etc. You can sit down and you can have a coffee uh, watch TV. You can do whatever you want in here now, okay? Um, you can go outside, you can go and lean over here, jump in the pool, or you can just make some photo shoots or whatever, okay? It's all totally up to you. Now, yeah, you can basically do some photo shoots here. So the mod does work 100%, and as always, you can exit by going to the elevator over here and now you can just press that button and now it will take you down back to the entry so yeah the mod does work guys and um, I hope you do enjoy using this mod okay and I'll be back again so I hope you guys do enjoy using that mod it's an awesome mod but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk then let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well unfortunately I'm not active inside my YouTube comments I am more active inside my Discord server 
so I join my Discord server, I'll leave my Discord server link inside my description below so you can get better help and support. So with that all said, if you guys did like this video or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.